I want to play you something that the former Secretary of State Colin Powell said this week about what he would like to hear from the president. Yeah, I'd like to see him uh, be more passionate about race questions. We're not there yet. We're not there yet. And so we've got to keep working on it. And for the president to speak out on it is appropriate. Do you think it's difficult for President Obama to speak about race? Is it challenging for him as the first African-American president? You're friends with him. Is this something you spoke to him about? Well, I think the president understands, as most Americans uh, do, that we are in this equipoise between acknowledging the extraordinary progress that we have made, much of it in my lifetime, in the president's uh, lifetime, and also the progress that remains to be made. You know, the, the march in 1963 happened uh, in the immediate aftermath of the short aftermath of, uh, of poll taxes and Emmett Till. Uh, we commemorate uh, that march 50 years later in the uh, uh, short aftermath of uh, uh, voter disenfranchisement, uh, disenfranchisement uh, initiatives in North Carolina and Texas and Trayvon, uh, and Trayvon Martin. We, and in between, it's not that we are stuck. It's not that that's a cause for despair. It's a reminder of that point that Thomas Jefferson made that I referenced a minute ago, that our freedom, all of our freedom uh, as Americans, depends on eternal vigilance and renewing our commitment to those Americans. The president ideas. talked about economics today, talked about jobs. He talked about the fact that the black unemployment rate is still disproportionately high to the white right. unemployment rate. Same with the poverty level. And by any measurements, there are still issues in this country facing African Americans. And it's enormously important that just as we point to the president's or my own political success, to the economic success of the numbers of black millionaires and other professionals who have moved forward, that we acknowledge that there are black people, brown people, uh, poor white people still struggling in this country, still trying to get their toehold in the American dream, and that all of us have a, uh, have a stake in trying to make that dream real.